I'm Harrison Graham. Here's what we got coming up on Chicago Bears now. Could Keenan Allen get traded to the Kansas City Chiefs? One NFL personality threw that idea out there. I react. Two, Cole Komet praises Caleb Williams. We'll dive into that. And then the Bears have a secret weapon. His name is tell you in a little bit that's what we got coming up here on Chicago Bears now but before we get to that our next milestone is 104,000 subscribers thank you guys so much for helping us reach 103,000 during our watch party this past week now we're trying to get to 104 we're 807 away if you want daily and free Bears content hit that subscribe button join the family here on Chicago Bears now all right, let's talk Keenan Allen NFL Network's Peter Schrager uh, mentioned that Allen could be a potential trade target for Kansas City. Now, he more of just threw names out there that could make sense for the Chiefs, so keep that in mind. But obviously it makes sense from the Chiefs' perspective because, well, Rasheed Rice, Marquise Brown, both likely out for the year. Now, we haven't gotten official, official word as we're filming this on Rice's situation, but even if it's not a torn ECL, it's safe to say he's going to be out for a while. Marquise Brown had a surgery, a collarbone surgery uh, before the season – at best, he'll return for the playoffs, which leaves Xavier Worthy as their number one receiver. And the Chiefs are trying to three-peat. They're trying to do something no other team has done. I don't think they can go into the playoffs with their current wide receiver core. And obviously, they know Keenan Allen well. Played him twice a year for over a decade when he was with the Chargers. Now, the question for the Bears is, is would it make sense for the Bears? Would moving Keenan Allen after a half season at most – makes sense for Chicago. Well, let's get to some reasons why it would, and then we'll get to some reasons why it would not. Number one, well, his contract. He is in the final year of his deal. So you could argue, depending on where the Bears are at the trade deadline, that trading him for a pick, maybe you get that fourth-round pick back, maybe you could charge a premium to a desperate Chiefs team that need a receiver, maybe you get a third, who knows. Um, that could be a reason. Now, I think it would be, again, dependent on where the Bears are at, but that's one. Two, he very well could not be in the Bears' future. I like what I've seen from Roman Madunze. Obviously, quiet game yesterday, but uh, with his age, with his uh, expiring contract, a Roman Madunze, DJ Moore, one-two punch with, you know, role players behind them at receiver is something that certainly could make sense. And then the last one, which we've already seen play out this year, he's injury prone, especially at this point in his career. He's missed two of four games. He's got this nagging heel issue. So if uh, – you know, if he, you're worried he's going to miss more time, and again, you may not bring him back in the future, that could be reason to trade Allen. Now, I wouldn't give him away. I wouldn't just trade him for like a sixth or something like that. But if you could get your fourth back and uh, you don't think you're making a deep run this year, that could certainly be reasons to do it. Reasons to keep him. Well, I still think he's a good player. And um, trading good players – uh, you need good reasons to do that, so that's number one. He is a QB-friendly player, both just in the ability to get open, but also uh, a veteran presence for Caleb, someone to learn under, someone that he has been able to connect with. They've known each other uh, since both their times out in Los Angeles, so uh, I think the value of having him in the building in those offensive meetings is legitimate. And at least for now, the Bears want to win this year. Now, is a Super Bowl likely? Probably not, but... Could this team make the playoffs? Absolutely. And does a guy like Keenan Allen help you do that? You would think so. So, um, you know, I don't think this would be one you would do in the next week or two. This would be right up at the deadline. Like, are the Bears truly a playoff contender or not? If they're not, maybe they'd consider it. If they are, I'd be surprised. Uh, but uh, you never know. Ryan Poles is uh, bought twice at the deadline. Uh, despite not really being in the playoff mix. So you never really know what he's going to do. Would you trade Keenan Allen? Type T for trade or K for keep? Let us know in the comment section down below what you would do with Keenan Allen. Pen comment on today's show, and we will uh, have more analysis after this YouTube ad break. I think the only way I would consider a trade of Keenan Allen is, one, if the Bears are clearly out of the hunt, or two, they could get a young piece for the future. Now, I don't think you would get this guy, but Trey Smith, the right guard, is going to be a free agent next year, and many believe he's going to hit free, hit free agency. And if the Chiefs don't think they can pay him, may would, maybe they would consider shipping him out in some kind of swap for Keenan Allen. Now, that doesn't help them a ton in terms of winning a Super Bowl this year. They would want their offensive line intact. 
But, you know, if you could pry a player like that in a trade for Keenan Allen, I would consider that. But otherwise, I'm probably keeping him unless you just completely stumble over the next four or five weeks before the trade deadline. All right, Cole Komet praises Caleb Williams. Uh, Komet was asked about uh, the uh, pass we've all seen go viral. We saw during the game where Caleb kind of layered one over the linebacker, and he had a simple but I think – important answer to that question when he spoke to the media today. We will get to that here in just a moment. But first, got to tell you about our sponsor. That is Game Time. They specialize in last-minute tickets for the lowest prices guaranteed. And with football season back, basketball season, and hockey season basically here as well, it is time to get off the couch and go watch your favorite teams play. I love watching my favorite teams play live at stadiums, especially big-time college football for me. And I've used Game Time on numerous occasions to go watch my alma mater TCU play. Game Time has a new feature called Game Time Picks, where it makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play easier. Game Time Picks also filters out the fluff to show you the best deals on the best seats so you don't have to filter through the thousands of tickets available. Whether you're getting tickets to a sporting event, concert, comedy show, or anything else, Game Time has you covered with views from the seats, super deals, which are the best bang for your buck, and those last-minute tickets for the lowest prices guaranteed. You got Usher coming to the UC uh, in late October. Uh, you got the Blackhawks underway here with uh, their preseason wrapping up in the regular season. Bulls just around the corner. Bears, Panthers this week. Download the Game Time app today. Use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase only right now. It's code CHATSPORTS for $20 off. Terms apply. Download Game Time today. What time is it? It is Game Time. All right, here's Cole Komet on Caleb Williams, uh, that layered throw. He says, that's an NFL throw. You're just banking on the backers, linebackers, to bite up a little bit, and that's considered open. He ripped it. Hopefully you'll see a lot more of those. But that's a really high end and really good throw by Caleb. And I just the first line stood out to me. That's an NFL throw. And I don't think he's trying to, you know, call out Justin Fields. He's playing pretty well in Pittsburgh or any other quarterback he's played with. I think he's just saying, yeah, those type of windows are tight, but they're open in the NFL. And I haven't been on the receiving end of many of those as an NFL player. I think he's just being honest. Like, that was a big time throw. It's, it's open enough in the NFL, and he put it in a spot where I could get it. And that should get you excited as a Bears fan. Like, you're seeing more and more of these just trickle into these games by Caleb Williams, and I think we've seen it. His intermediate accuracy is very impressive. From 0 to 9 yards, which are short passes, he's been very accurate. Uh, 10 to 19, he's 10 for 15, he's been very accurate. Downfield needs work. It's been inaccurate, but you hope that comes, and if – if his college tape is an indicator, it should. Uh, but on those intermediate throws that sometimes require a touch, sometimes require a bullet, sometimes require more anticipation, I think he's been very good in that regard, and that's very, very exciting. How confident are you in Caleb Williams right now? Scale of 0 to 10. 0 being not at all, 10 being very. I think just in terms of literally how he's playing at this moment, probably like a 7. Like he's not – you're not going to confuse him with the top five quarterback in the league right now, but where he's going – the improvements every week, the confidence building, I'm pretty damn confident in that. Like, the direction of this kid uh, is pointing up, and uh, you guys should be confident and excited with that. Let's get to the Bears' secret weapon. Tory Taylor, the Australian punter, already playing a major role in a win. And when you take a punter or a kicker in the draft period, but especially in the fourth round, you're going to draw – eyeballs for that that's going to catch people's attention and he better be a guy that impacts winning and you can't dispute that he had a big impact and the Bears went over the Rams he averaged 55 and a half yards per punt against the Rams and by the way the last one they were punting from the Rams 43 and he pinned it down inside the 10 so that's going to crush the average on four punts he averaged over 60 which is crazy he had a long of 66 uh three of the five were 60 plus I believe and he pinned three inside the 20 uh, and two of those inside the 10, I believe. And the two punts late, the one where he just hit a rocket launcher, I think it was the 66-yarder that landed at like the eight and kicked out to the right at the six, and he just went fired up. And then you saw the lob wedge when they were punting at the plus 43, and he pins it inside the 10. He got fired up. And that's what you want to see from your punter, especially if you're investing 
a, a draft pick, like a real asset into him. It's like he better have different clubs in the bag. He's got the driver with the ability to launch the ball. He's got the lob wedge to spin it back off the bounce. He's got the directional bouncing too. He had a couple that like would land and then kick right or left, uh, which is pretty unique. Like he is a talented punter. In the first couple weeks, he was kind of hit and miss, a little inconsistent. Like he would try to pin some inside the 20 and they'd kind of fly out of bounds like the 24. You're like, that's not a great punt. But you can see the talent. And he flat out helped you win that game yesterday with those last two punts and, and really throughout the game with the field position switching. So um, that pick already paying off, and uh, that's what you want to see. If you're going to make that type of investment in a punter, he better be a guy that impacts winning. And uh, we saw him do that uh, in the Bears' win over Los Angeles. All right, there you have it, Chicago Bears. Now a little victory Monday for you guys. It feels so good. Uh, like the video if you're fired up. Also, subscribe to the channel. Trying to get to 104,000 subs ASAP. We appreciate all of you. My name is Harrison Graham. Bear down.